Hi guys, it's MXP. For those who don't know me, I'm a French drone photographer, videographer, and also an FPV pilot. I'm sharing most of my work on my Instagram account. Since I'm living in the west of France, uh, close to the Atlantic Ocean, uh, I used to shoot a lot of um, wave surf shots, and um, that's the reason why Luminar and Skylum asked me uh, to show you how I'm editing my shot using Luminar Neo, uh, a powerful tool. Um, if you're drawn into drone photography and aerial photography, especially based on sea, uh, you know how difficult it is sometimes just to edit uh, the color or the water without uh, touching the foam and so on. So today I will show you uh, useful tricks and tips uh, with Luminar Neo just to make your editing easier and way better. So here is the AI of Luminar. As you can see, you have all in the catalog all the shots you've already imported. Uh, shots uh, when the reference, because Luminar is not uh, creating a library, uh, it's keeping these files where you, you've saved it. Uh, so you will see uh, here this uh, little triangle uh, with an alert on it. But basically, once you've selected a shot, you have all the metadata and you have the generative fields and generative tools just to help you um, use some um, remove content and so on. Uh, you have tools here to merge shots together uh, to make some panorama, for instance, and you have an upscale tool. Uh, once you've selected your, your shot, you can also go to the preset tab and you have a load of presets already printing depending on the kind of shot you've made. You got here specific uh, presets made from drone photography. Uh, what I want to do here is just go to the edit tab and then you have a bunch and real a lot of um, tools you can use just to improve your work here uh, for all the colors I'm going to select mask and then what you can do is use the AI just to select object and here is what is very powerful with uh, the AI this shot is pretty complicated since you've got a lot of texture but you can use here the tool just to select and add more here once you click the more you click the more selection you make and then so what I'm gonna do is just, just to show you here how things are working. So as you can see, I've selected my mask. Um, I can play here around uh, with the selectors just to show you all things are working but what I want to do is just go back to the action of my mask invert it and I want to walk directly on water so I just want to make it a little more blue just to improve the blues and uh, you can then use all the filter just to show you the contrast about the colors here you can use the split tones just to warm it up or cold, cold it down and I'm gonna just lower down all the things and here with the, you have access to the wall settings and the wall uh, as you usually do on any editing software such as Lightroom um, just for the record here um, Luminar is not uh, using any kind of your data on stealing your privacy uh, against uh, like Adobe is doing so what uh, when Luminar asked me to review the tool and just to work on it and uh, see how I'm using uh, I was very concerned about privacy and that's the reason why I'm showing you here today um, this tool because it's very practical and very useful just to edit and uh, with, the, uh, the, with people taking care of your privacy uh, here is very roughly uh, the adjustment you can make but what I want to do uh, is go back here to uh, the water let's uh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna draw very quickly on my water and uh, I'm gonna show you here I will do 
for for the sake of the tutorial i i will do a more detail uh later uh just to show you the final result but here once i have drawn my mask as you can see all the thing here all the white uh here are not being selected uh just the texture of the water uh, is being is being changed and that's the reason why i'm loving this tool because it's so powerful you don't have to go back on each little dot and try to some color selection but it's gonna be very painful here i'm gonna show you how powerful this tool uh, is um, on another shot uh, later on um, just to finish very quickly with this tool uh, you have also uh, with shot sorry you have also things you can add like uh, neon uh, which is gonna give you uh, another view you got some blurs a, a very a huge amount of things uh, which I, I will not use on that shot but you get a lot of powerful things and once you've done with your shot what you can see here is all the um, the the modification you've made on the shot and that very powerful uh, just to go back uh, on my ear sorry sorry I, I just want to show you one thing what's very interesting too is that as you can see here it's just a before and after and you have uh, the slider you just have to move and then you have all the reason that you need uh, now let's add another shot so here is my other shot um, you can see that uh, this raw file here uh, as I said you have some pretty fine so presets so let's uh, try to use and um, to see just to show you the impact very quickly um, uh, maybe I want to start with the, this one I, I do like uh, the sky and all the colors down here this one is not my taste uh, I don't don't want ruin yet but let's say basically I want to work on this one yes so I'm gonna apply it and then go go to the edit tab uh, as you remember I, I show you that there is a powerful tool based on the AI uh, you can see it here uh, let's add some here some quantity and as you can see I said um, I just um, increase the slider and it has already uh, selected the whole water down here and I, I didn't did anything so this tool is so powerful for that uh, what, uh, what I want to do here is just uh, fix the part where actually he did a mistake but look uh, it, it saved me uh, a lot of time uh, just while masking and I didn't have to go uh, on uh, Photoshop or so on or, or tools like that uh, let's lower the man brush I just want to add here so I'm gonna do it once again very roughly uh, just to for the sake of the tutorial but that's very that's that's so powerful for that once I'm, I'm good with it, what I can do is just go back here, uh, turn back the blue, uh, increase the green tint so water was more green and the original color was more like that. What I can do is just, I can increase here the color, all the, the light, the lighting of my water. Uh, I can increase the contrast just to sharpen it. Uh, let's say I want to add some ace and uh, use the same ace so what you, you just have to do is this just here uh, change the aspect and what it can do is you just have then there just to, to add some glow here um, use the position and set the position of the center of the sun and then you have all everything you need you can change uh, the turn radio just to match more of your style then you can increase the warmness uh, let's say just too much uh, the lighting of your shot and basically uh, what I just did is just add another sun uh, let's say I want I just want to just want to do a little bit more uh, of course you have something to reframe your shot and just to make social medias but let's say um, I'm not happy uh, with the sky uh, what I can do is just use here the sky tool and 
just select one of the priority skies and what you can do here it just it just replaces uh, the whole sky directly you can also buy some more here on store but uh, what you have you have a lot of the uh, whole collection of skies uh, basically here it's not matching because I got the right one and the, the very good conditions and the one I wanted but as you can see is just uh, showing and adding accordingly uh, even trying to match colors here around the reflection of the sky above the water and so that, that's really crazy you even have um, some star some star skies and so on so what I just want to do is just remove it I, I can also just use um, the AI tool just to improve directly and very quickly my work and what it does is just uh, you can here just use the AI to improve your shots and you can use it just to increase the quality of the sky and that's the rhythm of the, these little early days I'm loving in Luminar. Um, once again all my modifications here are noticed so once I just want to mod and just see the impact each and every single one of it has I just gonna use it and then apply it and so on and that the all the many details uh, making this UI tool uh, this tool sorry this editing tool very powerful uh, that's just a very small tour of what Luminar is and uh, I'm running basically every day about it it's about uh, 15 days I'm using it but I'm really loving it and I've re totally replaced my drone with it and now I will show you uh, the final results of both the shots I've edited So you can see how easy it is just to add the rays in a click or edit the color of the water using Luminar Neo. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a like, drop a comment down below and share your, your the best tips you have on Luminar Neo. And don't forget that this week it's Luminar Drone Week and you can win a Mavic 3 on Instagram. To do so, just uh, drop your best shot edited with Luminar Neo and don't forget to task Luminar and I on it so we can review it. I hope you see your best shot soon. Bye!